So it's uh, Tuesday, which is I think the fourth day of our work here. We just pulled down uh, this temporary supporting pole. Gotta, we just done wiring it up the top. And we're going to unscrew the. So the first time these guys have used a, uh, a battery drill. Okay, so we're loose up there. So now we need to undo the screws. One, two, three, four, five, I think it is. Screws on that. <laughs> Lovely, like professionals. So we're part way through the preparation for our shed build here. Here's all the diggers on the back. Give a wave, guys. <laughs> so we're at the end of day three or four or so, and we've got a really nice looking driveway here. And a little bit to go for the next day or two. It's good. So we're continuing with working on our driveway here at Los Carros Farm. And uh, I realised that we'd already grassed this and I haven't levelled it. I don't think it's a major disaster because we were up a little bit here on this level. Slightly. And then of course you've got the driveway, so that's fine, you're gonna you've got to fall. Um, this one here, we're up quite a bit higher. So I've got a good opportunity now to try and get a bit of fall in to get a, a drainage for when it rains so this doesn't become a, a mud pit. So what I did before, I took this level here, which is around about 104. There, it has about a few centimetres under that. But then with this one, I've taken a level here. At this level, I need to get a, a fall on that all the way down. Now, this is still pretty level. But you need to probably get a bit more fall on that. Now I lose it. I lift it up slightly. I got about two centimetres fall there. Here I think I went a bit deep. Maybe not deep enough. Here. And down here, I've got a pretty good fall on it. About Oh, five centimetres. Here is about seven or eight centimetres. And then to them, we'll just go through this other part. We go. We've already got a bit of a drain here. We'll just go through there to get. So I'm going to do the water test and see where it pools, and then we'll dig that out. So let's see how we how we get stuck here. So far, so good. Cool here. Of course, the soil's fairly dry, so it's getting absorbed into the soil fairly quickly because it's probably because there's not enough fall on it. I think that flows better. so well, that's better. Yes, that's it. Alright, that's the slope. We've got that drain to work fine, so that's a good angle there. Now, I'm trying up this way. I think I've gone too deep here, so I'm going to just try this, this uh, slope on this and see how this goes. Oh, it's okay. Yay, it works. All right, that's good. Now we've got our level. So Friday afternoon, 1 p.m. We've been going all week on the clearing the area here for a, a shed next to our house. 
and uh, it's going pretty good actually. We moved the thousand litre tank away from over there. It was over there where the boys are knocking out the uh, concrete base, um, which it sort of was crooked. It wasn't very thick, so it's a positive. We've dug some drainage here. You can see that little depression. Hopefully that slope is enough to handle any water because it's actually looking like a big storm possibly on the way later today, maybe. Be good actually, look at the grass, it's all uh, looking pretty dead. We've just about finished filling the last bit of soil out from here. We'll get them to knock over that retaining wall as well and move that down there. We can use that for fill if we need later. Now what I'm aiming to get done today, we've got two hours left of work. What I'd like to get done is uh, the grass um, laid as much as we can down here and possibly even dug out there in that area where um, Irwin is now because we're, we've got a um, piece of bamboo sitting up on there that does actually fill this tank if it's in the right location. Um, yeah, here we go, we're starting to do the grass. Two hours, let's see how we get this afternoon. <laughs> hey, get the shed done. Ah, the little man lucky. Well, let me hit the hammer. I'll do it. I'll do the last one. Oh, the jacket could be the other one. Ah, my son, and he's never done. That's not the meat, ah. The most fun part of construction is destruction before you do the construction. In another big day, I'm uh, pretty exhausted actually. Did a fair bit of digging today. Last week, oh, this time I was standing on a raised up area, probably 70 centimetres or so high. Um, this week we've dug all of that out. We've put all the concrete over there that we guys finish at three o'clock. I've just got this done. Got this flat, put that in. I've just set up a piece of bamboo to catch the, uh, it's already had a piece of bamboo off the shed roof. It's great. We've uh, grassed, put the grass back on uh, probably a good two thirds, I guess, of the slope and the flat area. I'm going to extend this. We'll cut this back a bit further because this is about where I think uh, post will go. So it's a bit of exploratory. See how far the roots of these mahoganies come out. See if we cut this back probably another meter, another meter or so there. We've got to get what we can out of the rest of the grass. I lost my wedding ring. <laughs> Don't have to buy another one. That's the second one I've lost now. First one was in the Mary River at Kenilworth. Um, this one I think might be under that grass because that was I was doing that that day and I reckon as I dropped the grass it could have grabbed it so it's probably under there somewhere so let's hope we find that we're going to dig in probably all the way to actually pretty much to that other tank to the corner of the shed so that's I've got some pegs down there where I'm thinking that the uh, shed will extend to and so I want to dig that at the same level uh, of the house that's the plan is to and that'll give me an idea then of how much soil has to come out of this shed so this is about i think 300 higher than the house floor so that all has to be dug out when we whenever we get something to replace it if you like these updates uh, don't forget to like and subscribe see you all next week